Hello dudes, what is up? It is Deathly Enderman here. I keep on forgetting my name. But I've got a cold, so that's why if you hear me sneezing a lot in this video. But I'm feeling a bit better. And we're playing like a Marvel Superhero 2, which I've not played on the channel yet. And if you're wondering which superhero I am, I am Custom Character 10. I named him Waterlord, but if you want to know about this game, then here's a video for you. I got this game idea, and I found this game on a channel called Game Unboxing Reviews, Hidden Blade, and J Shock Blast. So, if you want to see more of this content, go on over to their channels and subscribe to them. They do amazing superhero videos and yeah so yeah <laughs> so we're gonna go into the water because that's why I called it water lord but just to make things easier we're gonna go to Triton which you can find in Atlantis which is which I'll show you in a minute but How did a bug fly into your mouth? You've got a thing, a thing over your mouth. <sighs> I don't really know what to say except... Welcome back. I know I've not recorded in a while, but welcome back. Me and you. I don't know who to say, but... I don't know, I don't know what to say these days. <sighs> So if you like that new loading screen, like you saw on my main, no, well, like a Marvel Avengers video, then you can see that when you change, you just got that little purple thing around it, but you change here, um, let's just turn to tactical force, then you, oh, didn't really, I didn't really see it then, but then, you, yeah, you get that blue thing around you. Why is there fire in water? Oh, and if you didn't know about Rocket Raccoon, that I just saw it then and looked a bit. When he jumps, you can see that little thing about behind him. That means he's going super fast. Not just fast, super fast. So I'll go to Atlantis and then I'll come back. So I'm back guys with Black Bolt, he is from the Atlanteans. He's actually the king of Atlantis. And if you're wondering, Atlantis isn't in the sky, it's in the ocean. I know, but that's in DC comics thingy my bob. This is a Marvel game for those of you who aren't listening. Um You'll see these little blue coins around, the, these here, you collect them when you're still in the story mode and sometimes when you're doing a level, yeah. And if he, if this person speaks, that's what happens, that's when he speaks. But then Superman does just blow me away. Oh. I can show this guy off anyway. Tech Claw. He's like Ant Man. A lot like Ant Man. Actually, while we're talking about Ant Man, Ant Man. This isn't the classic. I don't like really the classic. And I, look, and I found out how to do a thumb flip with Big Ant Man because if you see, he just does a double jump. Now, you better get here tonight. Oh, and one thing that all of you will like, maybe not all of you, but most of you. He's big. Though when you change, obviously, then he, then he changes. Back, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's be somebody invincible. Mm. 
Maximus. So these people are called Inhumans. If you did just hear them then. Um, I don't really know what. Manny. He's a big figure, as you can see, because he's super duper strong. And I don't know a lot about him, but I think that Kang, the person who made all of the islands in the world, like the best places in time, he just put them into one little city. That's what he did. But I, and then Lockjaw, he is so cute. He can teleport, which I really like about him. And all he does is just be cute and roll around. And I'm glad that you get to play as him, which is really good. And Medusa, the queen of the Inhumans, the queen of Atlantis, whatever you want to say. Now what's this here? Photograph. Ooh, nice. It's not really a photograph, it's just like a viewing spot. Viewing spot. Um, I'm gonna go into the water anyway, aren't we? I can't be bothered to pause the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm gonna pause the video. So, I'm back, guys. I just need to see how long this video was. But we have enough time. Here's some fish, they always swim away from you. Even Triton. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And it looks like a fish, so we can. I thought you could talk to fish and fish wouldn't swim away from him. Ugh, really bad cold. Ugh. Oh, are these red fish? Are they, are they? Oh no, they're orange fish. I'm colour blind, sorry. I've never been here before. Oh, oh, oh yes I have. Uh, let's be the Grand Master. Don't know how there is two versions to him, but Shall we begin? yes, we may. So this is the Grand Master. He can fly. He is invincible, so that's why I wanted to be him. I love the noise he makes when he shoots his beam. And the reason I wanted him to be invincible is because the volcano the lava does actually hurt you but when you're invincible he's just walking in lava now Good man. Seven. See, he doesn't get hurt by it either. Oh, it does. That's confusing, but I thought he wasn't invincible. Oh, was this one invincible? What custom is this? Custom eight. He's dying and another invincible person isn't, but now Super Lucas is definitely invincible. Yeah, my grandmaster is cooler when he does it. Don't you think guys? 
so I'm just showing you a bit around. I'm showing you my custom characters. You know my cousin that made the video with me? This is his character that he made. But it can't really attack this character. Because all he can do is make a false field and shrink. Well, yeah, I guess. I guess he can attack. But it'll be quite hard to hit them. And I mean, what's the point of having weapons if you can't even use them? The character look, yeah, I do quite like. But abilities you earn, I think you might need to improve. But uh, overall, the look is quite good, and I'm going to take that as a really good. And then Mordo is one of my favourite teleporters. And I'll show you why in a second. I'm just joking, I'm not going to show you, I'm just going to show you this and then I'm going to cut the video. The source informed me that Cree made a deal with another Kang stooge, an inhuman commonly known as Maximus the Mad. The only reason is I can't find it, so sorry. I'm going to have to assume Maximus the Mad will have Jonah the Furious on his case. Let me tell you, Maximus has helped the Cree invade the inhuman city of Avalon. I want to skip it so bad. See you guys. Guys, actually, I did find it. So, in the end, this is why. When he teleports with these little pads, it's really good how he teleports. So, yep. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.